it's what's she making wednesday and i have a fun technique for you today it's called the cut and shuffle technique so we are going to use today some of our designer series paper this is the fun designer series paper pack from celebration so you can get this free with a hundred dollar or more order in January and February of 23. So we love this paper. It has like 48 sheets. It's awesome. It's called the Dandy Designs, Dandy Designs 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I love this because it coordinates with our colors. It's got some balmy blue and Calypso coral, fresh freesia, granny apple green, mango melody and petal pink in there and there are so many great designs so today we're just going to use four of those and i love our designer series paper because it's all double-sided so let's say you like the design on one side or vice versa you get to use them all so today i have already pre-cut these a little bit and so they are cut at five and a quarter by four inches right here and so we are just going to stack these together and we are going to make four fun cards at once today. And so that's kind of fun, right? So I have all four of these cut. We're going to stack them together nice and tight here. We're going to use our awesome paper trimmer here and we're going to cut this into four. So we're going to cut this at two and a half. And we're going to cut all four at one time. So we're just going to make sure they're all even. We're gonna cut it at two and a half. And I like to go back up and down to make sure that all four cut totally through. And so we've got those. And then we're gonna cut this bigger stack. We're gonna make sure they're all lined up. And we're gonna cut these. Let me move my stamp pads here. So we're gonna cut these at two inches. Same thing, we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, make sure they cut through. And then we're gonna do the same thing on our other stack here. And these, we're gonna cut at three inches. Make sure they're all even here. There they are. Okay, so we're gonna cut these at three inches. Okay, so we got all those cut. So I'm gonna move my paper trimmer here and you can see we've got our four piles that we just cut up. And what's so fun about this is we're gonna take, I like to start with one. And so each of our four cards is gonna have each pattern. So we're just gonna go ahead and put these here. Then we're gonna take our medium ones, put a green there. Let's put a polka dot here. So that none of them are gonna have the same two patterns. So there's polka dots in those two already. So we're gonna put this one here. What did I do? <laughs> so we're gonna put these, these go below. Okay, put that one there, this one here, this one needs a green and now we're going to take our bigger one which one doesn't have polka dots that one this one here here and here so see we're creating four different let's see if i can get all these in the screen here four different designer series pack uh, patterned backgrounds here So see, four cards. So one, two, three, four, they're gonna be the base of four cards. And so let's use one of them here. Let me move these out of the way. So we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with these fun cards. So we've got our card base, just basic white card base already done for us. I'm gonna take some of our awesome green multi-purpose glue and we're just gonna start gluing, gluing these down. I love this glue because it's so fast. Okay, so we're gonna take our biggest square. That's like where I like to start. And we're just gonna line these right up. Once you get the first one down, then it's real easy to do the next three. So 
So number two piece, we're just gonna put that right down. We're just gonna line it right up even. Whoops. See, the green glue is so good like this because it gives you that little bit of wiggle room, right? To get that down. Okay, and then we're gonna take our next piece here. Just put some glue on that and we're gonna line this one right up. Okay, so can you see this coming together? It's so fun. Okay, and then piece number four here, we're just gonna line that up. So I love this cut and shuffle because we're cutting this paper, this designer series paper, and then we're shuffling it so that we get one of each of those four patterns super easy on here on this card. Okay. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take, where is it here? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so I pre-cut out this tag. This tag is from our die cuts, our queen bee die cuts. And there is this super cute tag here that I pre-cut with my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And so I have that already. And so we're gonna use today our Thanks a Bunch stamp set. So this you can get free with Celebration. So Celebration is a fun promotion that Stampin' Up! is doing in January and February while supplies last. I love this Thanks a Bunch set. I think it's so, so cute and free with a $50 purchase in January and February. So we're gonna use this one today. And so on our tag here, we are going to, let me grab my pierce mat so you can see this. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna stamp thanks a bunch. So <laughs> we're gonna stamp it in three different colors. So we're gonna start with our granny apple green. Just open that up. I already got my thanks from that set right here on my block. And so we're just gonna line this up. I love that you can see through these acrylic, acrylic blocks because it makes it so easy to see where to place. So we've got our thanks. I'm just gonna peel that one off. And then I'm gonna get my a bunch here and we're gonna stick a bunch. Thanks a bunch, right? And we're going to switch colors here. And we're gonna go to our Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral. And I love that our inks match these free designer series papers right now. So we've got Calypso Coral. We're just gonna ink up a bunch here. And we're just gonna stamp that right under our things. How fun, easy, easy, right? And then the last one that we are going to use today, there are these fun dots, fun dot stamps. So we're gonna put that right on our acrylic block here. And I'm gonna ink this up in our Highland Heather, our Highland Heather. So we're gonna, just gonna ink these cute dots up and we're gonna put those right under a bunch. So we've got thanks a bunch with some fun, with some fun dots, little polka dots. Aren't those cute? I love those. So we're gonna put that aside. And then let me close this up. I've got some vellum here and I have our, my vellum cut, pre-cut for us. And it's cut at three and a half by two and a quarter. So I love making these. If you haven't done these yet, you can make these awesome layering cards and they really help you to see what the card will look like as you're planning your layers for your card. So this one is pre-cut at three and a half by two and a quarter, my vellum here. And so I'm gonna put this one kind of at a caddy corner, like at an angle here. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of our fun green glue onto that. And we'll put this just at kind of a diagonal there. So the vellum just kind of gives it that little extra, that little extra touch. Okay, and this card needs some carrots. It needs some carrots. So we are gonna take, this is pre-cut at four and a half by three and a quarter. 
And you can see that's a bit big for our card here, right? Sometimes I like to do those um, so the layer looks like that. But we're going to cut this in half today. Let me just bring my cutter. So we're just going to cut this right, right in half. Easy peasy. Okay. So we've got that. So we're going to take this and we're just going to be layering this just like that. But we're going to stamp some carrots because we need some carrots on here. So I've got my carrots in our Thanks a Bunch set. They are so fun. Like you can do some layering with those. They have some little mini cute ones. So we're going to use this kind of medium sized carrot right back into our Calypso Coral. Already have it on one of our acrylic blocks. we go make sure you guys can see this and so I'm going to stamp three of these so I like to start with the middle one and you can do them lower you can do them higher you can kind of diagonal them you can make them into a little bunch that's what I'm gonna do here okay so we've got that so we'll put this aside and we're gonna close up our Calypso Coral here. And we're gonna get back our Granny Apple Green because we need some greenery on our carrots here. So we've got, we've got this cute little bunch up here already on our block. We're just gonna ink that up into some Granny Apple Green and I'm gonna let this go off the paper. So see how it's kind of sticking up? I want it to do that. Okay, so then we're gonna go and give them all their little fun stems here. Okay, so we've got all of those. I'm gonna take that other scrap that I had and I am just going to stamp a few extra of these guys. Okay, so then we'll put this aside and we're gonna get it all put together here. Isn't it so fun? I really love this set. Okay, so we're gonna put this one aside. We're gonna take our scissors here. We're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. I love our snips. And so we're just gonna cut these out with a little bit of a border. Not exactly where they are, but just with a little fun. Sorry, I was off camera there. Okay, so we're just gonna cut these out. Hard to talk and fussy cut. <laughs> okay, so we'll get a couple of these guys cut out. Love our paper snips. They make it so easy. I mean, every craft room has, at least if your craft room is like mine, I have so many scissors. And so I, you know, we think, oh, do I need one more pair of scissors? But these paper snips are so precise. I really love them. Okay. Well, let's see if we need that other one. So we're gonna take um, some Stampin' Dimensionals here. Where are my dimensionals? Okay, so we've got our Stampin' Dimensionals. So we're gonna give this a little bit of little bit of dimension here. So first we're gonna start with our carrots that we stamped. Make sure you guys can see this. And so we're just gonna put some dimensionals just right on the back here, kinda in all the corners in the middle. Easy, easy peasy. Then we'll just take these backings right off. I love how easy they are to remove. Have you ever fought with like um, <laughs> tape or something where you can't find it? Oh, it's so frustrating. But this makes it so easy. And then I always check them just by kind of <laughs> going like that. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this kind of right on top there. It's a little bit offset on purpose because we got our our fun thinks a bunch that will stick maybe over here. And then we have these that we fussy cut out. So you can layer them on top. You can kind of um, put them behind if you want to do that. We're gonna put ours on top here. And so 
We'll take some of these dimensionals. These ones on the side, you can always cut um, to give you some little fun extras. So we'll use those right here on the side. Ooh, my camera got moved because <laughs> I'm working further up than usual. Okay, so we've got those. We might need to cut these in half. You can use the mini dimensionals as well, or we can just kind of snip them to make them a bit smaller when needed. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy. And I'm gonna trim this just a tiny bit so we get the actual end of our stem here. And we're gonna go right over this in the middle. And you can see it's sticking up, it's okay. We can use our glue dots for that as well. So our glue dots are kind of hard to see on here, but they are right, hopefully you can see that little glue dot. So I like to stick it first and then get my glue dot there. Okay, nope, didn't quite. There she went. <laughs> okay, so that just gives it a, just a tiny bit of dimension. You can add multiple of those if you want. I think I'll just add one today. And so now we're gonna add our thanks a bunch, our thanks a bunch tag that we stamped. And we're gonna do this, I'm gonna do this with some dimensionals as well. I think the dimensionals add so much to the card. Just gives it that extra, that extra layer, right? That extra wow factor, we'll call it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put this, I like to put these sometimes at an angle. So we're gonna do that. We have our thanks a bunch there. And of course, no card to me is complete without some embellishments. So I love these iridescent rhinestone basic jewels because they go with so many, so many colors, right? They go with so many colors. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I like to use the pointed end here. And we're just going to pick up a few of these and we're just going to kind of pop them around our card here. You can put maybe two together, one up here. You can put it maybe over here. I think I'll do this one right here. Okay, so there we go. We have our thanks a bunch cut and shuffle card. And I pre-did a few, so, so you can do four at a time. So you can also add some twine. This is our twine. Comes in a three pack right now with our um, three fun colors. So you can do that one. We can do kind of the same with the bigger carrots and our other fun sprig at the top. We've got the mini carrots and of course our other carrots. So see there's five different designs all using that cut and shuffle technique. I love this thanks a bunch set. It's so fun and free right now. Free is the best name, right? If it's free, it's for me, that's for sure. Well, thanks for joining me for What's She Making Wednesday. I'll be back next week. Bye for now.